Derived from the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verses 9 to 12, on a mission in the world is the theme that guided the teaching at All Saints Cathedral, Kampala. The very Reverend Canon Dr. Rebecca Nyegenye, who was the preacher of the day, reminded Christians to remain with God while on their journey on earth. Friends, God gives us and he says, I will make you a light to the nations. Are your children going out as a light to the nations or they are going out as darkness to the nations? As you think about you impacting the next generation, much as you know, you can be despised at a certain point, but you know, when you are in the Lord, a family that is soaked in the Lord, even your children will be looked at and people will say, hmm, look at them. You think God will do it for you. But he says, he encourages them that even though you are despised by the nations, kings shall see and arise. Princesses, shall, they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. Sharing on the same theme on a mission in the world, Reverend Jasper Tumuhembese, who was the preacher at St. Stephen's Chisugu Church of Uganda, advised the congregation to embrace their individual unique characters for a better accomplishment of their mission in life. My friend, this is your season to become a what? A missioner. That in the time of my favor, then in the day of my salvation. So this is the season. And in this season, there is none like you. We are like a chain of missioners. But the challenge is that sometimes we want to be missioners like. And so we begin putting on like, dressing like, moving like, instead of us knowing that we are uniquely made and therefore God wants us to fulfill our heart, our mission. I can tell you, I used to want to preach like, until when I knew, uh -uh, be yourself. And people will do what? We will listen. Because that's your mission. You are uniquely made and therefore your mission in this period, you in that family, your mission is what? Is unique and therefore this is your season. But not only the season, but also the pattern. That's the second thing. At Kakumba Chapo Chambogo University, the deputy IGG, Dr. Patricia Achan, urged Christians to purposefully reflect on God's grace upon their lives. We are called to serve selflessly and generously reflecting on God's grace on our actions, on our attitudes, on our, on our conduct. God gives us a second chance because others need it. He loves us so much and he wants to begin again. But he also gives us a second chance because he knows how useful it can be to others. What is it that you're using your second chance for? And at St. Francis Chapel Makerere University, the congregation received insightful guidance from Reverend Professor John Chitayemba based on the topic Justified by Faith. He asked Christians to put their faith into action. You guys look at the kind of faith you hold. If your kind of faith is that one without works, then that is a dead faith and you need to get born again. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it says our faith has to result into some action. Our faith is a means to doing the work God has ordained us to do. Our faith enables us to be like Paul, to say it is no longer I who lives, but it is Christ that lives in me. Friends, if you are born again, but you are still the other sinful pervert that came to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and the personal Savior here, you are not born again. That's what James is saying. Never.